In this video, I'm going to discuss the style sheet and how it, how it works, why we use it, and um, yeah, that's that's all I'm going to discuss. The style sheet is a huge, huge topic, very, very useful. Uh, it can get a little complicated, so I'm going to start with simple. Okay, um, style sheet. What is style sheet? Style sheet is uh, uh, is a way to format your document quickly and easily. If you've ever tried to format your document, you'll know what I'm talking about. Let's say you have uh, some sections in your document. As you can see here, I have section 1, section 2, section 3. These are normally called headers. In fact, Word has some predefined styles called headers. But we're going to create our own today uh, to show you how it's done from scratch. Okay, um, here we have the main body of text, and here we have uh, a section header. And I'm going to uh, show you how, how to create a style. First of all, we go to the Home tab. And under the Home tab, we go to the Style uh, style section. And you can click on this here, which will bring up this Style, uh, style dialog. Uh, to make it easier, I've deleted all the styles that Word has, so you can see what I'm doing. And um, you will we'll only see the styles that are in use. Right now, it shows normal. Normal is always going to be there. You can't really delete it because you have to have at least one style. Um, now, I want to create two styles. And right now I have section and I have body text. So let's just go to the first paragraph. Select it, click it once, and I'll select the line. Double click, it'll select the paragraph. Since it's only one line, it doesn't change. Now, uh, to make this different, I'm going to go to, uh, let's say, Arial. Make it large. I want it larger. And let's say bold. Okay, so that's my section head. Um, I'm going to make some changes later, but this is a good idea of how it works. Okay, now, I'm going to click here once. We'll click the line. Double click, I'll click the paragraph. And I want to change the font to something different. So let's say, uh, I don't know, Bookman. Where's Bookman, Bookman, Bookman? Okay, here we go, Bookman Antica. Uh, let's change the font style to 12. And I want it indented a little bit to make it look nicer, I guess, offset from the, the header. And that's it. And again, I'm gonna change this later to show you how, it's wor how, it's, uh, how it works. So first of all, I've made my two styles. Now, how do I put this over here on the style sheet? You select the one you want. Let's start with section. And on here, you have a new style. Click that once. And I want to call it section head. You can call it anything you want. If, it, if it's a predefined name, you might not be able to do it. For example, if I say header, it might say, let's try header. I don't know if it'll work or not. It might say, I can't name it that way. Yeah, this style name already exists or is reserved for built-in style. So I can't name it some things, but the great thing is you can name it just about anything else. Uh, so that's that's it. I'm just going to click. It's based on normal, and that's for an advanced lesson. We're not going to change anything else. And this will just show you the formatting that you've already done. Arial, 14 point, uh, the, the style here is automatic coloring. It's in Latin, or it's basically Roma, uh, just normal English lettering. And we're going to click OK. Oh, it's uh, left justified. We could also change it to full justification, right? You know, all the the formatting options that you have. All right. Now here, I'm going to double click to select the paragraph. And I want to call this, I want to make a new style called body, uh, bo uh, body text. So I think body text might be used. No, nope, it's not used. Uh, so now we have two styles one called body text and one called section head. I think it's it's uh, organized alphabetically but you can organize it in different manners. Now the now you're gonna think well what's the use of style sheets? That doesn't look any different. Well I'm gonna show you in just a second. I'm gonna select my all, all the text I'm gonna change everything to body text. Okay so everything is now body text and oh my section head is gone now. But that's okay. I can get it back. I'll just click here and 
click section head. Now I did that because we have most of our tech, most of my my text is uh, sort of most of my document. I want to have body text, so I start with the major one first, and then I go back and select the ones that I want to change back. It just makes it a little bit faster for editing. So, but first you want to do that. Now, I'm I'm moving my mouse a lot. There's a faster way of doing it, which is F4, which is a repeat button. As long as I don't do anything in between, I can repeat an action. So I'm going to do that. So I've got my five sections. I'm going to go back to the do uh, top of the document, and there you go. I've got my two my uh, two styles defined. And now this is where it becomes. This is the reason why we want to do this. Let's say section head. I want to change the color. Uh, I want it blue. Blue is a nice, or maybe green. Green's a nice color. Oh, I don't like that color green. Uh, let's see. Uh, let's change it to a nice dark green color. Go to more colors. Uh, make it darker. Oh yeah, there we go. What do you think? Yes? And I want more space at the top. So I'm going to click here. Put more space at the beginning of the document. Maybe 18 points. Good. And yeah, and that's good. And oh, well, you know, I don't like this text here. I'm going to double click it. Well, I mean, I like it, but I don't like this. I'm going to put italics. Oh, that looks much nicer. And I want a little space between the body text and the head section. So let's, uh, well, I actually, I'm just, I'm going to put like, just a tiny bit of space, maybe six points. And there we go. So now I have what I want it to look like, and I can change my mind later. But for now, so what I do is select the text, Go to body text, click once, and say update body text to match the selection. And lo and behold, all my body text has changed. Uh, let's say I want to change this again. Oh, here's a here's a point. If you just select, just click on there once, um, and I try and select the section, it may not work. Oh, it does. Sometimes it won't work, so it's best to select the whole paragraph before you say update. Uh, what might happen is it might just change it to the old style again, so you lose your formatting. And there you have it. So just by that simple thing, I've changed the whole document. Another way to change it is to actually go here and say modify. And so here I can just do it, uh, modify it this way. I don't like it this way as much. Uh, I mean, it works just as well, but I find, you know, uh, what I like to do is I like to see how it affects my document, uh, and I can do that much better when I'm, you know, just playing around with it. The other way, you kind of have to know what you want ahead of time. And let's see. If I say update, this may not. It may change it back. No, it changed it properly. So there you have it. That's how style sheets work and why they're useful.